Diane Hua and her husband have lived in Lac Megantic their entire lives. Trains roll by their house up to four times a day. My father worked with the train, my grandfather, and it was, it, we were used to that, uh, but now uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the same feeling anymore. I'm frightened. She and many in town are relieved the rail bypass will be built within four years. Just uh, knowing that now people will come back to live in, uh, in town, life is coming back. So it, everything will come at a day, a day and at a time. But the promise of a rail bypass for 2022 has left the community divided. The new tracks will cut through land owned by 44 people and in a place still grappling with a trauma that feels all too recent, emotions run high. I am a good boy. The federal government vows it will offer fair compensation, but that's cold comfort for some. Comment tu peux évaluer un cœur brisé? Comment tu peux, euh, comment que ça coûte, ça? Sandra Jacques and her husband built their home here. Her parents live just down the hill, but the new tracks will slice right between their houses, cutting them off. Mes enfants étaient tellement heureux de s'emmener ici parce que c'est la paix, c'est la tranquillité. Et là, c'est comme euh, tout ça est brisé, là. Jacques understands the need for a rail bypass, but she wishes she didn't have to sacrifice her own tranquility. It's a balancing act, says the premier. Certain changes could be made at the margins. Let's be clear. We don't. We won't start it from, again from, from from scratch. Hua and her husband were ready to move if the bypass was refused. Now they're relieved they can spend their retirement listening to the birds and not the trains. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Lac Megantic.